Hey guys, it's Doll News, and welcome to my first ever custom. And if you're new to this channel, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. So today I am making a Steven Universe Sapphire custom doll. Um, Sapphire is one of my favorite characters from Steven Universe, so I decided to make her my first Steven Universe custom. So, of course I need a doll with one eye. Sorry if that is a spoiler. And... She has one eye, so first things first, I needed to take off her head, and then I need to take off her face because I need to give her a new face and a new skin color. So that's how she looks with no face. It was really cool using the acetone to take off her face because I've never done something like that before. And now I just need to cut her hair. So here's how she looks with really short hair, and that's all the hair that came out of her head. And then I had to take all the little glue in her head with a tweezer out and get the rest of the hair out. That took a while, so. And then I needed to take the, the ink, or the <laughs> paint off her head, and painted her face blue like sapphire and then I needed to seal it with a Mr. Super Clear. I got this on eBay and I heard that it's really bad to breathe in and it is so I used gloves and um, something to protect me from breathing it in. So that's how she looks with her new paint and her new eye. It's my first ever repaint so it's the best I could do. I think it turned out pretty well and um, her body was too big, so I had to find a different body, so I'm using a Twyla that I found off eBay, because she is shorter than a regular Monster High doll. So, I made her shorter, because in the show, she is shorter. She's around the size of Steven, and that was just a picture of the original compared to the one I got from eBay. So first things first I needed to do is take off her head. And then I painted her body. I gave her white gloves because that's how her character looks. And then I painted the rest of her body. And I also painted some shoes for her even though you never see if she has feet. I wonder if she has feet. Um, I'm not sure if they confirm that she has feet, but I think I've heard something that she does have feet. But she can float. And I found these at a local craft shop. They're um, decals that were gems. So I decided to put it on her hand. And it looks just like a gem. And I also made a smaller one to make it look when she is about to reform. So this is how her head looks. And I bought some doll hair. Barbie Dyquery Ice. Hair long because she does have long hair. And for her dress, I decided to use a Blondie Locks dress. It has that front piece on the bodice that I needed and I could re-sew the, the side thing. And I did, and I think it turned out pretty well for the first time I like completely sewn something. And that's a comparison to my original one and how it looks after. And I was in the middle of recording some DC Superhero Girls, and I re-rooted re her hair. Sorry, guys. And, um, I think it turned out pretty well. This is the first time I ever re-rooted it all, and I got a little paint on her hair, but, um, I'm gonna give her bangs, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and now this is how I sealed her hair, and... This is how she looks with her bangs, and I think she turned out really well. Just take a look. So I hope you like this video and stay tuned for more customs because I have one in progress. And 
what other Steven Universe customs should I make or what other custom dolls should I make. And don't forget to like and subscribe and bye bye